A huge crackdown on shoplifting in New York City. Mayor Adams announcing his plan today to try to fight it through more enforcement, more prevention, and a closer working relationship between cops and shop owners. So far this year, there have been more than 20,000 cases of shoplifting reported, and about 10% of those have been grand larceny, which means items were worth more than $1,000. So how will this new crackdown work? I would assume reporter Darna Miles live in Harlem with a look at what's going to happen. Darla. That's right, David. This plan is very comprehensive in scope. It involves the mayor's office, the attorney general's office, and the DAs from all five boroughs. And I spoke with one small business owner who may very well lose his livelihood over retail theft, and he says this cannot come soon enough. I got hit more than a million dollars. This was all diamond showcases. They took it with the displays. This is never before seen surveillance video of a greedy, shameless robbery at a jewelry store on 125th Street in Harlem just last month. They came with the gunpoint, the four people, they tied up four people on gunpoint and they took almost everything. Just a block away Wednesday morning, Mayor Adams in Harlem to address this very issue alongside the Attorney General and local DAs. They unveiled the city's combat retail theft plan. This after over the last five years, retail thefts have increased 77% citywide. Queens, the most affected, up 101%. In 2022, we made over 22,000 retail theft arrests. City leaders say systemic retail theft falls under three separate categories, substance abuse, financial need, or organized theft rings. Our small business is already struggling with high cost and low profit margins. Uh, piling on lost revenue because of retail theft hurts these small businesses, op these small business operators. The plan includes identifying and tracking repeat offenders for stronger prosecutions, de-escalation training for employees, install social services kiosk inside stores for those in financial need, create neighborhood retail watch groups among businesses, and establish diversion programs. And broken-spirited business owners say something has got to give. I might get to go out of business because it's hard to pay bills, it's hard to pay rent, it's hard to pay employees. When you don't have merchandise, what you gonna sell? Now, the NYPD did release some positive numbers on the retail theft front today. They say complaints are down by a thousand, and they say arrests are up 20%.